What's up guys, welcome to episode 45 of From Chump to Champ. As I said in last week's episode, I did recently get the bow and I wanted to start using it a little more. This week, however, I did have to spend a whole lot of time AFKing and things like that, so I didn't get too much uh, progress or play time like, uh, actively. I did do a little bit of Slayer and a little bit of Araxor in order to try to learn the bow a little more, but a lot of the time was set in doing prep work. Fortunately for you guys, however, Araxor is the bane of my existence and in my opinion, probably my worst boss and I struggle with it greatly. So be sure to enjoy these upcoming clips. <laughs> So I have some projects going on at the start of this week, so I needed to spend some time doing something AFK, so I decided on making more arrows, because I am condemned to arrow hell. <laughs> um, basically, I'm going to be doing making all my arrow production right here, so that I can also collect some troves while I am at it. But my goal is to use up all my Bic anima, because I've already used all my full anima, as well as using all my Wen anima as well. So I should end up with around 40,000 extra uh, enchanted dine arrows. I also want to caveat this by saying that a lot of this arrow production or collection rather for the stuff has been done over the last few weeks just in AFK time in all honesty. Ooh, nice. I just realized I have enough yak coins to buy the gold bar detonate. Not that I'm ever going to use that. Cracked open an effigy and got 103 construction. So if you remember in the last episode, I said I wanted to do some more Slayer and try to get Lava Strike Worms for a Strike Bow. And I ended the by getting a Nodon Dragonkin task. Now, if I did this uh, task at Carapac, I would actually hit another pet threshold, which is all I'm missing from Carapac. But honestly, I'm really not feeling Carapac right now. So I think I'm going to get another task. Let's go ahead and cancel this task. And let's see what we get next. So she notices it. Let's go back to Lava Strike Worms. 68. Okay. And I'm actually going to extend this as well to 81. I must say, despite the fact that I'm not bossing, I am still doing full manual while doing Slayer, and it's definitely helping me because I am actually getting a lot better at knowing how many stacks I'm actually at to know when I should be using a harder hitting ability that hits whatever it hits, like a dark bow at two stacks or something, to make sure that I'm always getting the proc on the bow on a good ability. Um, basically, what I've been doing is trying to keep track of it, of it based on what button I'm hitting so that I'll know when I have to use a good ability for the um, extra hit and no longer looking at my bar nearly as much anymore. Hopefully that'll start translating into my bossing endeavors. And we're on the last kill of the Slayer task. Hopefully we can get a drop, please. Oh, spec for drop. Rip. All right, let's go grab ourselves a new task. And let's grab ourselves a new task. A task, and we have dinosaurs or soul devourers. I think I'm going to do dinosaurs, actually. Ooh, I could do soul devourers. Now let's do dinosaurs. I think I'm going to go over to the matriarchs for this. So looking at my matriarchs log, I'm at 1293 kills. I still need all three pets and a heart of the warrior. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, come with a maid setup, come with a range setup, and just go back and forth between those two dinosaurs since I am playing semi-actively. So let's see how this goes. Wow, I ended up walking right into the beam. Feels bad. So connection is a little finicky. I think part of it is because the extra people are online because of double XP weekend. I'm having some issues actually like getting out of the beams and things like that. So I really don't feel like doing dinosaurs right now. So I'm going to change tasks here. Let's go ahead and rewards and cancel this task for now. And let's see what we can get instead. The undead or muspas. I don't feel like doing either of these. So let's clear that. Get task again. And soul devourers or calphites. Let's do soul devourers. So I don't know why. I haven't been doing penguins since uh, I got 99 herb lore like actively like yes I'll still grab a penguin if I spot one but I don't I've just started doing penguins again for the last two weeks so I'm at 96 points let's uh go grab these lamps and we're gonna toss them all into agility for 851,000 agility xp and 100 agility I no longer have a single skill at in the double digits so I know in the last clip I said it's been so long since I've done penguins, but I didn't realize that with the four sets of penguins that I did with the two weekly resets, I forgot to spy on the polar bear. So I missed out on like four free points. <laughs> Rip. Obviously I'm still learning the bow, so let's go. I got a reaper here. Let's, um, I think I'm going to grab a Raxi because I'm still working on another leg piece for more biting components. All right, kill number one is a little bit rough, but hopefully this will get better. Oh my God, I just got another web. Uh... Man, I don't need another hilt. I need leg pieces. 
Ooh, I got the res right. Let's go. Oof. Man, my Rax killing sucks. I hate Raxor. Ow. Ow, mistakes. Oh, I just reflected myself to death. Oh, shit. What? Oh, there was a... Oh, I didn't notice there was a... Reflect spider back there. Oh, I didn't see the spec go off. They need an audio cue for the spider spawns. Oh! Oh my god, that hurt. Oh my god. What the hell? I hate reflect mechanics. Yay, I made it to the final phase, but I have no food now. No. Oh, I hate this boss. Rip, I finally got a kill and I wasn't recording. Raxor is like the bane of my existence. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, that was lucky. Yay, I did it. Wait, what? Oh my god. I thought the spider spawned right before I phased. God damn it. Dude, I'm losing so much money to a Raxor. Raxor is the hardest boss in this game, I'm convinced. You know what? I'm gonna do path three instead. <laughs> I'm tired of dying. <laughs> Yay, I did it. Path three for the win. Yay, that kill went way smoother. Let's go. Let's last kill the Reaper, too. And I get you logs. Bad chance. Roll, please. No. It's a new day. Let's go check out what Reaper we get. Grider, I don't want to do Grider. Let's get another one. Calphite Queen, QBD, Glacor. All right, so I have a pick your Reaper. I want to save this for tomorrow so that I can make sure I pick a Reaper and get full points. So I said in the last uh, the six month overview that I need to start doing raids. So I'm going to do a single raid here. I apparently did not reset my lock, but this would have been a double raid, but they're just going to fill the second one without me. Whoops. That's awkward. I missed a prayer flick. All right, let's check what we got. We got our luck of the dwarves on. We collect loot. Let's grab Yakka loot first. And we got nothing. So we're going to reroll this into nothing. <laughs> Yay. Go bank that and collect BM loot and nothing. I do want to get shards and shatter though. So I am still about 6k techie away. So I decided to do a couple of comp cape stuff and well just one comp cape thing in all honesty i want to get the herb bag upgrade that is the bag of herbs achievement unlocked off a daily challenge i just hit 104 room crafting so that's really nice i know we've had a little short video this week i didn't really have too much time to play but we still have our sacks and our troves to open up so let's go see what we are getting out of these this time uh our regular sacks we got a good amount of tensiles this time five wyvern bones and nothing else super exciting we did get some energy which is nice Let's go open up these big troves. So we had 37. Should get at least three or four fragments. Oh my god, look at that fragment stack. We got almost double the number of fragments we should have been expecting, which is nice. Which throws us at 93 total fragments. All right, let's open up these very wild rewards. First one, we're getting a charm and a black dragon egg. Second one, we're getting double magic logs. Lame. And finally, here's the core. Nope. Another lucky charm and back bolts. Thanks for watching episode 45 of From Chump to Champ. In this episode, we ended up spending a whole lot of time making arrows, so I used almost all of my anima to end up with 24,018 bick arrows, 14,615 wen arrows, 62,000. And 79 full arrows and a mere 521 jazz arrows, but I don't think I'm really going to be using those jazz arrows anywhere. I'm probably still not going to be reusing these arrows all too often in all honesty until they change the consumption rates, which is what I assume would change if they end up buffing this. We did also spend some time uh, working on our bow with by using Slayer and doing uh, some Araxor. Now again, Araxor is the bane of my existence. We did actually get a cool drop in getting the web, which is kind of useless to me in all honesty, but it is a drop nonetheless. Looking at the cash change, we ended up dropping a bit down to 139 mil, and that is because I do still do all my daily buying of rune shop runs and things like that, but I did not really uh, do any bosses that give me very much alcables or anything like that. I also did die a whole lot of Raxor, so we are on a downward trend, unfortunately. Be sure to like and subscribe. As always, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys soon.